Hey guys, welcome back to episode three of Skateboarding with Skateboard Academy UK. Um, before we kick off with the tricks, I've just got one minute slot of time and space to talk to you. I just want to talk about skateboards. Now here's a skateboard and I just want to make a recommendation of what types of skateboards you can buy. Now what you can pick up for pretty cheap, um, not too cheap because you still want your skateboard to be good, is this brand. This brand is called Fracture. Um, Fracture do a bunch of different sizes, um, skateboard, this is a mini ones. Most skateboards are about this much longer, so they're about, you know, up to here. Um, this is a mini board, so if you're really small or, um, you know, you don't need a big board, then you can get one like this. I would recommend, though, most people to get a full-size board. Um, boards come in different widths. Um, I would say the average is about eight inches wide. This is really narrow. I ride a nine inch wide board and you'd be surprised how much difference an extra inch or half an inch or even quarter of an inch can make. So if you are not sure what to get, I would recommend getting something around an eight or an 8.25 inch wide skateboard. You can get Fracture. Or if you feel like customizing your skateboard, um, this costs a little bit more money, but you can buy whatever deck you like. You know, you can buy all, a whole different range of decks. Um, you can buy the wheels, the trucks and the bearings, um, as well as bolts to hold the actual trucks in place. So you can kind of buy all the separate components, um, assemble it all together. Um, one thing I would say you need to look out for is depending on the width of your deck, you're gonna need to get appropriately sized trucks. So for example, on my board, which is like a nine inch board, it's probably out here, these trucks would be way too narrow. They would be sat inside the board. So you're gonna to wanna to get trucks that kind of match the width of your board. You can simply Google um, what trucks for 8.5 inch board, what trucks for 8.125 board, eight inch board, whatever size, and it will come up with all the truck brands and the widths and stuff to make sure you get the right size. With wheels, you can get whatever size wheels you want. They come in different sizes, um, doesn't matter too much. And bearings, I would recommend a brand called Bones. Uh, they make Bones Reds. Here is a packet of Bones Reds. This is what they look like. If you want to find out on the shop, um, these are the, some of the cheapest bearings going, but they're made by one of the best brands. I ride these bearings and they last me for years. Um, whereas other brands, they sort of, the bearing ends up popping and exploding and doesn't roll anymore. Um, so that's a quick chat about skateboards. I would recommend you can buy your skateboards from you know, a local skateboard shop, have a little Google about where your local town is. Um, and, or if you're going to Cardiff or anywhere like that, you can sort of go to Cardiff Skateboard Club. And if not, there's loads of online retailers as well where you can get stuff delivered. So yeah, have a look at skateboards. If you want to get something cheaper, I would recommend just buying a Fracture Complete. Um, but if you've got a little bit more cash to play with, or you know that skateboarding is really something you want to kind of spend a lot of time doing, it is worth getting your own board. Um, but just make sure all the bits match up together, in particular, the width of the board and the trucks. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the episode and see you next time. So hopefully you guys have practiced your turns since the last episodes. We turn by either pressing on our heels or our toes whilst we're rolling. This causes the board to turn. Let's start off by practicing that once again. Step on your board, with your feet on the bolts, press down your heels and hold it. Then try pressing down your toes and holding it. Try this rolling. This is the first way we learn to turn. But this is not the only way that we can turn on a skateboard. The normal position is to have your feet on the bolts. Keep your knees bent and use your arms. What we're gonna do is shuffle our feet so our front foot is in the middle of the board or slightly above the middle of the board. We place our back foot on the tail. We then shift our weight over the back wheels. This allows us to be able to tip the board up a little bit. What we're gonna do is use our arms to balance, push down our back foot on the tail and lift our front foot a little bit, bending our knee. This allows the front wheels to raise off the floor. Try and just lightly raise the front wheels for just a second. Once you practice that for a while, we can start to try and add a turn. Turn your arms and shoulders. Lift the front wheels and swing your leg around a little bit. This will cause you to do a pivot. A pivot is a way you can turn on the spot or when rolling. See if you can pivot all the way in a circle. And start off by pivoting in the direction you're looking. Now try and see if you can do quarter circle turns every pivot. This means you should do a full circle in just four pivots. This is quite challenging, but get out there and try it. 
build up your skills and you'll be pivoting really well in no time. Now we're going to try pivoting the other way. This is pivoting behind you so you can't really see what you're doing but as long as you're in an open safe space you should be fine. It's the same principle just turn your arms and lift that front end Swing those legs around, you should pivot. Remember to drop down to the wheels and keep your knees nice and bent with your weight centered when you land. Once you've practiced that for a while, again, try and do a full circle in four turns with nice 90 degree quarter circle turns on every pivot. Practice that for a while, then you can try pivoting when rolling. Take a nice slow push, keep your foot on the tail, lean back, Lift those front wheels and turn your arms and shoulders. You'll be able to pivot on the spot and turn anywhere you want to go. Remember, once the pivot is ended, lean forward over those front bolts so you keep your balance and bend those knees. Next, we're going to try pivoting from one direction and then the other. Try this on the spot to start. This is called a tic tac. Once you've mastered that, you can try this rolling, change in direction to wherever you want to go. You can go faster if you'd like, or you can change directions, spin yourself in a circle and keep doing those tic tacs. Take it slow to start. As you can see, I've done a lot of practice myself. Once you've practiced for a long time, you can use Tic Tacs to generate speed. But remember, this takes lots and lots of time, so get out there practicing. The next step in this skill is to learn how to do manuals. Manuals are basically wheelies on a skateboard. We keep our feet in the same position back foot on the tail and front foot in the middle, we tip our weight over the back wheels, we lean back and lift our front wheel. See if you can hold it. We're going to use our arms to balance and wiggle our hips and our legs to try and keep that board underneath us. Start off small and then see if you can hold it a little bit longer. Then you could try rolling. Then you could try rolling a little bit faster and holding it for longer. And then if you're like me and you've practiced a long time, you can hold them for quite a long time. A great way to adapt this skill to the environment is by using it to drop off a curb. Normally we drop off a curb by allowing our front wheels to roll off and then our back wheels come off at a later point. But we're going to use a manual to get off this curb. So let's see it. We lift our front wheels off and land with all of our wheels at the same time. This one will take some timing and some practice. But once you've got your manuals down you can use this and it's a really good clean way to drop off the curbs. The next skill in this lesson is going to be called jumping on. Start off by standing still on the ground and jumping with two feet and landing with two feet. Do this a couple of times just to train your brain and to think about what you're doing. We're going to try this on the board next. We're going to try and land straight on those bolts. Remember to bend the knees and try to sink into those bolts. Try this one a few times just to get yourself adjusted. Next we're going to take a step behind the tail, keeping our back foot next to the tail and we're gonna swing our front foot in the air just like this. What we're gonna try and do is to swing our front foot and stamp it down on those bolts. From this, we can swing it, stamp it down and take a push. We can try doing this a little bit faster next time. See if you can jump off the back foot and land with both feet at the same time on the bolts. After this we can take an additional step backwards, step our back foot next to the tail, then swing through landing on those bolts after we've jumped. The more steps we take, the faster we run, the faster we will be rolling. And remember this is a way of rolling without even taking a push. After lots and lots of practice you can take loads of steps back and you can run really fast and jump on the board. You'll have loads and loads of speed. 
The last trick in today's episode is something called the strawberry milkshake. Now I didn't make this up, this is actually what people call this trick and it's quite a fun one to try. So what we're going to do is we are going to flip our board upside down. Press your toes on the edge of the board and pull the board backwards. It should roll over and land on top of your foot. Then we pull the board over end over end, flip it over and stamp down on those bolts. Try this nice and slow and if you pull it off, try and do a little bit quicker. If you can do it really quick, you'll be able to snap that board right over, nice and clean and take a quick push. I don't normally do this trick, but I thought I'd try it rolling and maybe you guys can too. Good luck, get out there, have fun and don't give up.